Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am here with an office update. I need to preface this by saying it is not done at all. Um, but I think sometimes we get stuck in the, we share the before, which is bad, and then we share the after, which is amazing. And sometimes we'll share part of the process or I've watched videos on YouTube where someone shared all the process, but it's all edited and like it's a 20 minute video that makes it look like they did it really quickly when it, that's not gonna happen here. My mental health and my physical health mean this office is not gonna get done in one day. I can't do a sped up time lapse, whatever you wanna call it, video, because it's not gonna be that quick. And I think part of what scared me about this room is the phase I'm in right now, which is the middle, which always feels worse. It looks worse than it did to begin with. Feels worse. I feel like there's no end in sight. But I know that there is and I want to share with you what I've got done so far. So let's do this. Okay, the sewing cart and the planner cart, I have done nothing with those yet. They were not as important because I, they're, they're tucked away. I don't need to do them right now. Um, I haven't done anything with this. I have some shelves and some stuff. I have started here. So my boxes are out of these ones and all the paper. They're all sorted. My husband's put stuff there. Um, I've just got to sort this paper and this paper out. Then I've got to do these two and these four boxes. So the rest of the boxes essentially. But those ones are sorted. Up here is still quite a mess. The Lego's still in here. Some boxes are gone from here, but this needs to be cleared and sorted. Again, not really a top priority. There's a cat. Like Grace. Okay, and then it's worse. Do you see how it's worse? Okay, so I moved some furniture. So the white drawers that are there used to be over here and my printers didn't fit. This works really well now. So I've got my printer, another printer, laminator and my cutter. But then we've got all this stuff. So I bought another set of drawers. That's got all my paper in now. And there's another one there with beads in. And then we've got all this stack of stuff. Now the reason all of this is stacked up here and not sorted is because over here, I had new shelves put in. So I had these two new shelves put in. This one has all my stickers and this one has all my washi. And then I've got my two little white carts. I've got another one of those white carts come in and it's gonna go here. Um, I have actually sorted these. So now my watercolors are sorted in there. Uh, my little rainbow moon stuff all the creative kits and all my watercolours and then other paints and then down here is all Simply Gilded subscriptions these are my Villa Beautiful and Honey Bee Shop subscriptions and their sticker books so these are all sorted and we have sticker albums these four Filofaxes hold some little things subscription, Station Wonderland subscription, and these are sticker kits. And then pens, and then up here, I've organized all of my clips into these two things. I might organize those ones into there. I haven't decided yet. So I got these new shelves. So everything that was here before had to come out. And I didn't have anywhere to put it because all of this stuff was like just over the other side of the office while I sorted that. So it is a mess. This is a bit better organized. I've gone through the carts, these two carts, and sorted them as well, but there is just stuff chucked on top. So it's a mess there, and over there is the next real big job. But I need to sort some of this to be able to put away some of this. So yeah, I do feel like I've got quite a lot done. 
um, I had, to, I had to add things to my list just so that I could cross them off. Um, my list was not as in-depth as I thought. It was more broad, so I added more things. Um, I have got a lot done and I've got a lot planned and organised, but there's still so much to do. Um, it just... It feels a bit overwhelming at the moment, I won't lie. And some of the things, I don't know how to store them well. And I need to empty other boxes to use those boxes. And um, and I don't really have a huge amount of time to myself to do these things. So Ben is home all the time. You may at some point in this video have heard him. He's having a bit of a morning. Um, so I can't do a huge amount when he's home because I'm homeschooling and just in general, looking after him. Um, and then uh, my Etsy shop is open. So like last night I was going to do some stuff in the office, but I had orders to work on. So I did those instead because I feel like they take priority, which they do. Um, so it's things like that, like priorities. If I plan my week, like I could have planned my week out to do orders one day, office the next. But then if I got a bunch of orders in, I'd want to do those. So it's like, you know, you know. So yeah, there's a lot left to do and getting the motivation is kind of hard, especially because I have to wait till the kids are in bed. And if my husband doesn't put them to bed, like we alternate, he's been doing it a lot more than I have lately, but we alternate. And um, if I have to do it, sometimes I don't get back through here till like half eight, nine o'clock. And yeah, that's just a bit late. <laughs> my brain isn't always with it for that but I'm hoping hoping to get a chunk more done I would like to have my office as done as I'm going to get it to feel like it's done like I can do a after video I would like that by the end of October really mid-November at the latest I think I can get it done by the end of October. It is October 6th today. Do we think I can do it? I think so. I just need to get going. You can hear my son. He wants me to go and help him or watch him play an app on his iPad. Not help, just watch, <laughs> which is fine. So I am gonna go and do that now and yeah, so if anybody has any suggestions for storing vinyl, that's one of the things that I'm trying to figure out. Vinyl and my, I'll show you. So the vinyl rolls, which I have seen. I've seen people store them in plastic bag holders from Ikea, which I'm very tempted, and then hang them on the wall. That would get them off the floor. So those need something to store them in. And my binder, binding, binding wires. I have a lot of them. I bought a big bulk of them when I started using the cinch and I was making sticker books, which I'm not now, but I want to keep them because they'll be good for journaling stuff, for making like scrapbooks and stuff, which is my plan. So yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on a good way to store those, because at the moment all I'm thinking is um, the boxes, like the beige boxes, just chuck them all in one of them. <laughs> but I need to sort the boxes to be able to do that. So yes, so there's still a lot to do, but I think we can get there. So thank you for watching. And like I say, any suggestions, I, your suggestions on my last, on the actual plan video for this was amazing. I am so grateful and I, like I've written notes on what people said. So yeah, if anybody has any other suggestions, please drop them down below. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, thank you for following along with me on my get shit done journey. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.